In today's gospel, we are reminded about the somber heart of what Lent is all about. It's about preparing us and pointing us towards the moment of Christ's passion and death. We read these really stark and very uh, confronting opening statements in today's gospel that the religious leaders were now really set on killing Jesus. And the reason they're really set on killing him is because he has declared himself to be the son of God. The gospel tells us that he has declared himself to be equal with God by saying this. You see, Jesus is no longer just an annoyance. He is no longer just some guy with some followers who is running around causing a disturbance and breaking a few rules. He now poses a direct threat to their hegemony, to their control and to their dominance. He is now saying, I am the son of God. I am the promised one. And this is a real threat. The Pharisees, the religious leaders, they have failed to see God working in their midst because of their pride and their hypocrisy. They like the idea of this morality, this connection with God's law, but they don't know the God who has given them the law. And today we are starkly reminded of that. We are reminded again too that Christ isn't just a prophet. He's not just a teacher. He's not just some religious leader who turns up and espouses some nice and impactful ideas. He really is the Son of God. Today's Saint Quote of the Day comes from Saint Terribio, and he said this, Christ said, I am the truth. He did not say, I am the custom. This quote from Saint Terribio is, is a response that he gave to some people in his time who challenged him. He was trying to correct abuses that had arisen within Christianity, and people were responding by saying to him, look, these are just local customs. That's why these things are happening. It's all good. His response, of course, was to say, well, no, Christ is not merely a local custom. He is the truth, and he is the final word in our life. To me, this really speaks to the heart of today's gospel where Jesus declares himself to be the Son of God. For us as Christians, that means that he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning of and the end of all things for us. In other words, his word, his commands, his call in our life is the be-all and the end-all. What that means is that when he calls to us, when he commands us, when he says this is the way things should be done, that is the final word. That is the truth. That is the fullness of truth. And if we want to live a full and connected life in Christ, we need to recognize the fullness of who he truly is and then humbly submit ourselves to that. Music